तो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस्ड सम बेसिक पॉइंट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एट फर्स्ट बेसिक पॉइंट वाज डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटर देन सेकंड वाज टाइप्स ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटर वेयर वी स्टडी द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ ट्रिपिजियम देन पैरलोग्राम रेक्टेंगल रोम्बस एंड स्केयर नाउ थर्ड बेसिक पॉइंट कंडीशंस फॉर प्रूविंग कॉर्डिलेटर एज ए पैरलोग्राम these are four conditions if out of these four we prove any one condition then we can say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram like first if one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel second if both pair of opposite sides are equal third if both pair of opposite sides are parallel and fourth if diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other so out of these four if we prove any one of the condition then we can say it is a parallelogram so out of these four conditions if any one is satisfied then we can say it is a parallelogram so in this exercise we are having three basic point first definition of quadrilateral second types of quadrilateral and third condition for proving quadrilateral as a parallelogram now we start the questions of first exercise 7.1 so this is the first question the quadril angles of quadrilateral are in the ratio this ratio is given Three ratio five ratio nine ratio thirteen of different angles of a quadrilateral. Find all the angles of a quadrilateral. So ratio is given. So let angle A three x, angle B five x, angle C nine x, and angle D thirteen x. Now when we add all the angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D, their sum will be three sixty because by angle sum property of quadrilateral. In angle sum property of triangle, sum of three angle is 180, and in angle sum property of quadrilateral, the sum of four angle is 360. A, we will write 3x. B, we will write 5x. C, we will write 9x, and D, we will write 13x. When we add all these four, we get 30x. The 30 will divide on this side. Value of x is 12. So after this, we will write angle A. It is 3x. So c into 12, 36 degree. B is 5x, so 5 into 12, 60 degree. Angle C 9x, so 9 into 12, 108 degree. D is 13x, so 13 into 12, 156 degree. So these are the values of all the four angles. So these type of questions are really very important. Now after this, we will study question number second. So second question is, if diagonals of a parallelogram are equal, then show that it is a rectangle. Generally, we draw the figure of that which we want to prove. Like here, we want to prove rectangle. So generally, we draw the figure of a rectangle. So in given, we will write diagonals of parallelogram are equal. So A B C D. This A B C D is a parallelogram. Here, diagonal A C and diagonal B D. These are equal. Then to show it is a rectangle, so we want to show A B C D is a rectangle. When we want to show any figure rectangle, then generally we will prove that all these angles are of 90. So if it is a parallelogram, if you prove only one angle 90, then automatically all angle will be 90 and it is a parallelogram. So we will take triangle ABC and BAD. Now we will prove congruent these two triangle. Means chapter seven is also apply here, where we prove the triangles congruent. So AC equal to BD. This is given here. AB AB is common, and in definition of parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So we can write BC will be equal to AD because opposite side of parallelogram are equal. So this this we written from the given. This is common. This is opposite side of parallelogram are equal. Then triangle ABC congruent triangle BAD because by SSS congruence rule. Then we can say this angle A will be equal to angle B by CPC. Because this is a parallelogram, it means BC and AD are also parallel. Because the opposite side of parallelogram are parallel also, so angle A plus angle B, their sum will be 180 because conjugative interior angle. Angle A as it is in place of B, we can write A 180. A plus A, two angle A 180. To divide on this side, so it is 90. So in this parallelogram, we prove that one angle is of 90. So now one angle of parallelogram is of 90. So we can say ABCD is a rectangle. So for rectangle, we have to prove angle 90 degree. Now question third. In question third, 
show that if diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other at right angle then it is a rhombus so here we will draw the figure of a rhombus so in quadrilateral abcd diagonals are bisect each other bisect means oa will be equal to oc ob will be equal to od and these bisect each other at right angle it means angle 1 equal to angle 2 equal to angle 3 equal to angle 4 or all these four angles are 90 degrees then to show we want to show it is a rhombus so abcd is a rhombus when we want to prove any figure rhombus it means we will prove all four sides equal for rectangle we will prove angle 90 for rhombus we will prove all sides are equal so let us take triangle aob and cob again we will use the concept of congruent triangle so o equal to oc this is given angle 1 equal to angle 2 90 it is also given so two step we write from the given now here ob ob is common so triangle aob congruent to triangle cob because by sas congruence rule then we can say ab equal to bc by cb similarly we can say bc equal to cd so here we can say bc equal to cd then cd equal to ad ad equal to ab it means ab equal to bc equal to cd equal to ad means all the four sides are equal if all the four sides are equal so abcd is a rhombus so tomorrow we will discuss more question of this exercise